Okay, hello guys, welcome to another video on my channel. And this video is why I like the fifth doctor, Peter Davison. So I've already done this sort of video with my doctor's ranking about this. But I'll try and go in a slight bit more detail. And also someone commented on my last video, who's my favourite classic doctor. So, I thought I commented who it was and some who I do like, or who were growing on me. But now I thought I'd make a video on it, just explaining why. So yeah. Let's get into it. First of all, I think, in my opinion, he's the most humane of the Doctor. He starts out as just the friendly, kind Doctor. The nicest of the Doctors, in my opinion. Seems like that. And then he progresses in, and actually has more character development. Okay, Similar to what happened with Matt Smith, to be fair. He's, I would compare him with Matt Smith in that sense. Surely he hasn't got the comedic value that Matt Smith has. But... Matt Smith started out just light and happy, and as he progressed, he got sort of darker. So yeah, that is something I like about him. He was a doctor who had character development. Some doctors just don't really have much development, like the third doctor, for example. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like him, I'm not saying I dislike this about that doctor, but he was mainly just working for unit, doing what the brigadier said, had sort of class we had class personalities with the Brigadier, the Third Doctor did. So, yeah, he didn't really progress as a character, the Third Doctor. But the Fifth Doctor progressed, and he was the most humane to begin with. He act Sorry about the background noise. I'll wait a second. But he actually acted more like a person, really, than some of the Doctors. In most of his episodes. Okay, the next point is, he mean, in my opinion... He maintained a good quality throughout like most of his, all of his run, honestly. Because, I mean, I don't like the Mara, the two Mara stories. I mean, those, I really don't like the psychedelic aspect of them. But I've seen, like, on Lord Slyre's video, he likes them. He's put that in his top five Peter Davidson stories. So other people do like that stories of him, which means it's still a good quality episode in most people's opinions, or, well, at least some. So, yeah, I find the Mara stories either love them or you hate them, really. And I'm one of the ones who hates them. But I can understand why other people like them. I just don't like the psychedelic sort of supernatural themes in it. Okay, also, Peter Dazen had two, um, um, one story, well, two stories that are in a lot of people's like, top ten stories. One is The Caves of Androzani, which I don't like as much as other people. But I still think it's a good enough episode. It's a pretty good episode. And it's a good end to his Doctor. Honestly, it's the ending I think he deserved. Because some Doctors, for the amount I like them, the ending they don't deserve. For example, Colin Baker. He did not deserve the ending he did, like getting fired. I thought, I think he's a great Doctor with Trial of a Time World rendered on Varos. I think he's a good Doctor. So, yeah. And he didn't get an ending he deserved. Peter Davison actually did. With with The Caves of Androzani. And a, a pretty good story. Also... Earthshock, the ending of one of my favourite companions, Adric. And that was an ending I think Adric deserved. That was just an amazing story. Probably my, That's probably my favourite story of all time. So that is just an amazing story. If you haven't seen it, I'll check it out. Also, I did like Peter Davidson's Tireless crew, like Adric, Turlo, Nyssa, Tegan. Sure, most of it was based around Tegan, which I didn't really like, so I'd rather more around Nyssa. But the reason I like Nyssa and sort of Adric in the time suit, and to an extent Turlow, is because they challenge the Doctor on an intellectual level. And say, in Castle of Alva, when the Doctor have action for a little bit, because he's just regenerated. Yeah, like Nyssa and Adric, sort of, their intellect managed to keep, like, the, they were trying to work out what happened and stuff like that if I remember right. Just they challenge the Doctor intellectually. Adric is better than the Doctor at maths, with the Doctor admits, because he even asks Adric for help with maths questions, or if he can't be able to work out, he says, Adric, what's like 33 times 72 or something? And Adric can just do it like that. So the Doctor even asks for help. Yeah. And Taylor, he's from an alien planet, he knows a bit more than the average person, so he still is more intellectual superior to us random humans like Tegan. And then Tegan is sort of the relatable companion. 
Tegan's a companion like us, who's probably got the same intellect as us, and would have the same reaction if we was in that situation or something. So yeah, Tegan's the, the relatable one. Nissa, Abdick and Taylor were sort of the intellectual, superior, smarter characters. So yeah, they're my main points as to why I like the Fifth Doctor. So leave your um, give me your thoughts in the comments down below. And yep, yeah, like this if you've enjoyed and subscribe if you've enjoyed as well. Yep, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. And if you have any if you have any requests for videos, just leave them in the comments as well. And if I can, I'll try and do the videos. Bye guys.